Let's make japjae or Korean glass noodles. This dish is my recent noodle obsession. I've made it three times this week and cannot get enough of it. It's great for meal prep because it holds really well in the fridge and tastes great the next day. You can eat japjae as a side dish or as a main entree. It is packed with lots of veggie and you can also add meat for extra protein. Here I added carrots, bell pepper, onion, mushroom, green onion, garlic, and a handful of spinach. Saute for a few minutes and season with some salt. For the sauce, combine soy sauce, sesame oil, brown sugar, and black pepper. Add the noodles and coat them evenly with the sauce. Then add your vegetables back in and toss to combine. Top with eggs and lots of sesame seeds and that's it! Let's make mushroom miso udon. It's rich, creamy, and full of umami. This effortless meal is my go-to whenever I come home from work and feel too tired to cook, but still want something satisfying. Start by boiling udon noodles, then melt butter in a pan and add garlic, onion, and mushroom. Saute until soft and fragrant. Pour in heavy cream and miso paste and bring the sauce to a boil. Add noodles and coat them evenly with the sauce, then top with black pepper and furikake, and that's it! Let's make garlic noodles. If you're a garlic lover like me, you'll love this 15 club garlic noodles. They're buttery, cheesy, garlicky, and full of flavors. For the noodles, I'm using spaghetti, but you can use any noodles you want. First, melt the butter in the pan, then add chopped garlic and cook until fragrant. Next, add oyster sauce, soy sauce, fish sauce, and sugar. Mix until well combined. Then toss in the noodles and cook for a few minutes. Finally, add freshly grated parmesan cheese and green onion, and that's it! Let's make jajangmyeon, which is a popular Chinese Korean dish consists of thick chewy noodles tossed in black bean sauce. It is packed with lots of meat and veggies, making it super filling and comforting. Jajangmyeon is perfect for those days when you're craving something easy and delicious. Start by chopping up your vegetables into cubes, then thinly slice the cucumber and cut the pork belly into strips, and set them aside. Cook the noodles in boiling water, rinse off, and drain. Fry the pork belly until brown, then add radish, zucchini, potato, and onion. Saute for a few minutes, then make a hole in the center and add 2 tablespoons of oil and a third cup of black bean sauce. Fry the paste for about 2 minutes, then mix everything together. Add water and salt and bring it to a simmer. Drizzle the cornstarch slurry to make the sauce nice and thick, and that's it! 